done. Whenever you're ready. Patience, patience, patience. Work to view my autism as a different disability rather than a disability. Look past what you may see as limitations and see the gifts autism has given me. It may be true that I'm not good at eye contact or conversations, but have you noticed that I don't lie, cheat at games, tunnel on my classmates, or pass judgment at other people? Also true that I probably won't be the next Michael Jordan. But with my attention to fine detail and capacity for extraordinary focus, I might be the next Einstein, Mozart, or Van Gogh. This is a quote that was featured on Psychology Today website, written by Ellen Nothbaum, who is the author of 10 Things Every Autistic Child Wish You Knew. One in every 88th American child is diagnosed with autism in America, and yet so few people know anything about the disorder. I worked with children with autism for many years at its summer day camp, and I also have babysit um, an autistic boy for quite a while. Children and adults are being diagnosed with autism every day, and yet there is not one known cause for what, why they're having to suffer with this. And even worse, so few people know what it is or how to deal with it. I would like to explain to you what autism spectrum disorder is, tell you about a, com a foundation called autismspeaks.org, and explain what will happen if you do not take action. First, I'll talk to you about autism spectrum disorder. According to the Center for Disease Control, one in every 88 American child is diagnosed with autism, as I said earlier. I would like to tell you a little bit about my experience at Angelwood Summer Day Camp. Angelwood Summer Day Camp is a day camp for children and adults between the ages of 5 and 22 with physical and mental disabilities. It's a six week long camp and it's a non judgmental zone. We have about 18 staff members and 35 kids each week. Each kid has a different disorder ranging from autism to cerebral palsy to Down syndrome to fetal alcohol syndrome. In the eight years that I've worked there, I've never seen a kid not have a smile on their face. However, they don't always get to go out in public without people passing judgment. Autism isn't a disorder that can be cured in any way. There is no known cause, however, according to the Autism Society, it is considered to be caused by abnormalities in the brain structure and function. There, said, there isn't said to be a gene or agent that specifically causes it, however, it is known to be as something that is genetically driven. Also, it can range from mild to severe, Mild meaning you would never know that this person had autism until you spoke to them and really got to know them, or so severe that they can't speak or they can't always control their actions. According to the AutismSociety.org, there are five red flags to autism. They don't babble by age 12, they don't gesture, I mean by 12 months, they don't gesture by 12 months, they don't say single words by 16 months, they don't say two word phrases on their own by 24 months, and they have a loss of language or social skill at any point in their life. Usually when a person is diagnosed with autism, it's between the age of two and six. Just imagine as a child, or if you're, when you're a parent and you have a child not knowing until the age of 24, month, 24 months for sure that your child has autism and having to spend all that time spending thousands of dollars trying to figure out what's wrong with them. You can also change, help change this. Autism Speaks is an organization that not only provides financial support, but also provides with education and information for families. According to the website, Autism Speaks has grown into the world's leading autism science and advocacy organization dedicated to funding research into the cause prevention treatments and cure for autism, increasing awareness of autism spectrum disorders and advocating needs of individuals with autism and their families. Autism Speaks, as I said, not only is for research, funding research, but also just providing information in general. Since it's been developed, $173 million has been raised through this organization for autism research. In 2011, they completely redesigned and relaunched their website, bringing in 25% more traffic, including 1 million Facebook fans and 44,000 Twitter followers. There's also a Walk Now for Autism Speaks that takes place in over 85 communities across the US and Canada, and this past year it raised over $30 million. As of 2011, the co-founders of Autism Speaks, along with President Obama, have signed the CARE Act, which is Combating Autism Reauthorization Act, into law, 
providing $637 million over the next three years to go into reauthorizations for autism. According to Autism Speaks website, four new centers have been added to the Autism Speaks Autism Treatment Network, ATN, expanding it to 17 clinical centers across North America. 40,000 children are enrolled in ATN patient registry and over 22,000 families are served annually. In addition, five ATN toolkits for families and physicians were released. Medications, blood work, dental practitioners, sleep, and visual supports. This foundation has also provided the first study to help screen a general population, and they used South Korea in which they screened to see the prevalence of autism, and it came out that in South Korea, the prevalence is one in every 38 child born. They also launched a GAPH Saudi Arabia, which was supported by a Slavic oil company that gave $10.5 million to autism research. While many people say that the government shouldn't be spending money on things because we're so in debt, let me let you think about this. Autism causes nearly 60, 000, families $60,000 a year, and yet it receives less than 5% of research funding. According to the National Conference of State Legislators, only 37 states have signed laws requiring autism to be covered in health care, meaning that they aren't provided insurance. People with autism will never live a normal life, and for now they'll never know what caused their disorder. We can all learn about autism by doing our part in researching. Donating to the cause is one simple way, but so few people know about it, and that's the most important part. Imagine if you were an adult and you had a child with autism and you decided to take them shopping one day. When you walked into the store, they became overstimulated and they started getting anxiety. They might have done a gesture like wringing their hands. Imagine two girls standing to the side and realizing what your child is doing and whispering to each other about it. Had they known what was happening, maybe they would have walked away and not made, any, made a scene about your child. On the other hand, imagine someone asking if they can remove your child from the situation, asking you if it was okay if since your child is overstimulated, they could take them somewhere else. Had, they, had that happened, your child will never forget that person in their life, and neither will you as a parent. There are numerous resources for anyone to research autism, including Autism Speaks. So to end, we have gone over what Autism Spectrum Disorder is, I've told you how you can donate time and money through AutismSpeaks.org, and I told you what will happen if you do not simply educate yourself. Most organizations will ask for money, but today all I'm asking is that you educate yourself. As you can see, I'm very passionate about autism and informing people about autism. Although autism may not affect everyone right now, it could affect you in a few years. If the prevalence rate is one in every 88th American, to put that into perspective, that means that one in every 250th undergraduate student at Florida State will have a child with autism. 